really are latching onto anything a little bit loose. Just a fraction too far up. Flick of the wrists, and away it went. That's a bad ball. Not sweetly timed, though. But it looks as if they get three for it. Marks the field up, and after a fine ball, which cost him four, three more here for a rank bad one. But a little bit of lift, just occasionally. And then that happens. Only fractionally short. And Metcalf onto it like a flash, as he has been all morning. Superb shot. The two of them have looked right at the peak of their form. Neither of them had a spectacular season, but you wouldn't think it from shots like that. That's again a superb shot. A little bit wide. But this time it was Moxon rocketing onto it. And anything loose. And Yorkshire really quickly out to destroy. There you see it again. Foot beautifully to the ball. And a full follow through, a glorious shot there from Martin Moxon. No ball, and four more. And I'm afraid this can't carry on much longer. Adrian Jones, is, uh, his spell looks as if it could be a rather brief one. Again, straying down the leg side. Moxon flicks it away just in front of square. And now he's on double figures as well. That is a fine shot again. Bananda stirs down the pitch. He'd done everything right that over. Just a fraction short there. And again, locks him onto it like a flash. Just short. Beautifully timed. Good example to everyone watching it. Real stylist is Moxon. And uh, the weight on the back foot. In Wyatt, and then batting here against Phil Carrick. He goes for the sweep and uh, gets a top edge straight up in the air. And it's Richard Blakey, standing wicketkeeper, of course, with David Bairstow out of the side, who takes a comfortable catch. For Yorkshire here, disappointment for War. Struck on the pad, and umpire Plews raised the finger. And War was gone for two. Again, Phil Carrick is the bowler. And uh, I don't think he was too happy about the dismissal, but Richard Blakey was very happy about his second catch. Another look at this one. This is a very positive stroke indeed. It's fired in short. Good roll of the wrists. Excellent shot. Well, it's just an over pitch ball, really. It's almost a full toss, a low full toss. He's just used the pace of the ball. Just helped it on its way. Another one. And then when he was on 97, facing Phil Carrick again, he pops up a little catch there, and Kevin Sharp says thank you very much. Bookshire and uh, made 25 useful runs, but then facing Stuart Fletcher here. Seemed to get a bit crouched, tucked up a bit, and uh, again, a successful appeal for leg before wicket. Bit of a hand injury. And, uh, a little defensive push, but what a great catch that one is by Martin Moxon. Not more than made up for the uh, one earlier in the day. And uh, awkward time for him, facing Arnold Sidebottom in full flight. And again, the LBW appeal, and again, umpire Plews. That's out. Side outside off Stum. Um, he, he doesn't crack it to square, he cracks it behind square. It's a typically a broad shot. He's, he's played a bit in Australia, he's a great cricket there. Up for 44 there, and make room here. Not as short as he thought, and he was out. Bold Carrick, six of bowling to Stephen Waugh. First ball, 
that Stephen Fletcher had in his return to the attack, and that who played pretty well here, made a duck in the first innings, but 33, but chopped there onto his stumps, ball not as wide as it. And that's the end of Graham Rose. Good bit of bowling, Geoffrey. Yes, I mean, it's wide and he's just really slogged at it. I mean, really an experience there. He hasn't played a lot of cricket, this young lad, Rose. Very simple, straightforward catch.